I let the toil talk to you. So I got to thinking, you know, if coffee were a man, it'd be a black man. Joyous, welcoming, warm, life-giving. He wouldn't be for everyone. He's, he's definitely an acquired taste. Bold, adaptable. He would give of his best for your good and gladly share in the fruits of his grind and sweat. Neither heat nor high pressure would scare him. He would and does flourish come hail or hot water and he would welcome them both cause he knows it brings out the best of him. He wouldn't mind the crushing of a grind cause his is more or less poor lex. His creative process is naturally washed and sun dried. He'd be single origined in nature, specifically North African, yet he'd flourish in multiple regions if the climate was suitable. South Central America, Afro-Latin, Micronesia. He would enjoy working with the indigenous and find joy in the sounds and flavor notes their music might bring if coffee were a man, it'd be a black man. Shipped away by force, and of course forced to grind and grind he must if coffee were a man, he'd be exhausted, yet expected to get everybody woke. He'd be seen for the cure for the morning blues, but wouldn't nobody play his? His second visit would feel much more like appropriation rather than appreciation. He would feel like he had been working in fields, making gourmet from scraps, treasure from trash, only to get his meal handed to the same hands that handed him over. If coffee were a woman, it'd be a black woman. Bold, strong, beautiful, delicate, elegant, complex, well-traveled, actually exponentially more complex than fine wine. Remember when she went abroad, Turkey, Vienna, Spain, the collaboration was amazing. She would have explored multiple worlds. She'd be naturally washed, sun-dried, exotic, cultured with a refined palate. Elevation wouldn't scare her. She would thrive in regions others can't. They can't breathe the air up there. If coffee were person, there'd be this haunting sense of irony. What was a centuries old practice of the populace has became a global craze save only for the pompous. How could something so black be so white? She would be heated up and watered down and mixed with cream and artificial sweetener cause they can't stomach her purity for them. She too bold, too bitter, yet simultaneously the purists would say they like the black in her right the black. Only if coffee were mother she would need well. She would say that there was another way where we can make beautiful art. Latte that is, swirling flowers, loving swans. Or black and white and brown can dance, making amazing blossoms. And we could cold brew some experiments with nitrogen and mocha. Or bitter and sweet, harmonized, making beautiful notes. If coffee were person, they would say don't profit off our backs. And use the faces of our farmers for marketing for those that don't want us in their country in the first place. If coffee, person, they would say that there was a fourth way for black, white, and brown can dance. Good morning, let's dance.